What is up? Joshua Casper here with another Max or Live video tutorial. Today we're going to be making this ring modulator inside of Max, and it's very simple to make. It shouldn't take us long at all. And then we're going to design, um, spend <laughs> about half the time making a pretty design because you know design is super important. Form follows function, but uh, you know good form is always important. So, um, this is, uh, I just got some loops in here, and it's just some crazy beat, don't really worry about it. And I'm going to run this track and apply the, uh, the ring modulator to see what kind of sound we get out of the device we're going to be making. <laughs> So as you can hear, um, it's adding a ring modulating effect to all of the audio that's passing through the device. And we've got a little panel display, and we've got a gain control, and how much uh, or what frequency ring modulation uh, is being applied to the audio. Uh, so if we go ahead and get started, I'm going to delete this, and we're going to come into. And by the way, obviously I'm going to throw it up on the blog like I always do, so you can download it and uh, also go to the blog for more information about everything. Uh, the blog is new. It's a new website. It's put a lot of work into it and it's super dope. So spread the word. Don't be a fool. Spread the word. Uh, so take a max audio effect. Drop it in here. Boom. Open it up. Boom. Get rid of uh, all this stuff. I don't need this stuff. This is just comments. It doesn't actually do anything. I'll pull this down and I'll type in L. It brings up the live uh, menu and I want the live gain. And I'm going to come into the inspector and orientate it horizontally. Come out of here. And then I need two uh, multiply tildes, so asterisk tilde. I need two of those. So I'm going to hold down Alt to, to, to duplicate. Uh, I'm going to come out of there, into here, out of here, into there. Uh, out of this, f these first two are the actual audio outputs of the gain. So I'm going to come out of here to there, out of this one to here. And then I'm going to take um, this line, put it in here, and this line, and put it in here. Sweet. So what we've done is just added a gain <laughs> to uh, the audio effect. But now we need to actually add the ring modulator, which only is really easy to add. We're going to type in L again to get a live dial this time. And I'm going to come in and include it in not the background, but the presentation. And I'm also going to change the scripting name to Freak for frequency. And I'm going to turn, I'm going to link it to the scripting name, and that, which automatically changes the long name for me. But I want to write Freak here as well, which is the short name is the name we see in the presentation. So you can see I've changed it here, and it's changed here. That's great. Now we're going to be using uh, unit style hertz, and I want to go from zero hertz to one kilohertz, which is one thousand hertz. If you didn't know, now you know. And we're also going to initial enable and leave it at zero. So that way, when we drop the device onto the track, nothing is happening, no effect is being applied. So that's uh, you know pretty important usually. And come out of here, and while we're on it, right click the gain and go to add to presentation. We can also come into the inspector just while we're here and rename it gain. 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 Great. Sweet. All right, and everything else looks good. And next thing we need is a cycle tilde. Sin, sin, sinusoidal sinusoidal oscillator, which is going to give us that ring modulation sound. And we'll come out of the frequency into here, and then out of here to the second input of the left and the right multiplication tilde. And then to see what this is doing, just um, for kind of a visual, nice visual effect, I'm going to type an N scope. And if you come down to scope, it says visualize an audio signal. Sweet. And come out of here into here. Now if I lock it down and turn this up a little bit, 
you can see that it's showing me um, what's being affected here and how much by those oscillating um, lines inside of the, the scope window. Uh, I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to come into the inspector and I'm going to change the graph. Uh, I'm going to go 0101 zero, one, zero, one for the color of the actual lines inside of here and we're going to have to remember that because I, I want to color code some other stuff. So uh, I'm going to include that in the presentation and, and that should be good for now. So let's come into the presentation mode and kind of move things around and make it look pretty. Sweet. And if uh, we come in and view patch inspector, open in presentation mode, now when we save it, um, it will show us down here. So I'm going to come in and save. I'm going to call it test, save. And I want to replace that one. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Uh, I actually want to bring it over a little bit closer to this edge. And if I save it again, yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe a little closer to the edge. A little bit more in the middle. That looks good. And when we come into the patch mode, the next thing we need to do is N panel. And it's just colored background area and that's pretty sweet and I want to come into the inspector um, and we can include the presentation and include in the background which means it will be behind these things and that's good and if you come to filling mode we can change it to a gradient and that's fun and we can change it to some cool color I don't know and then if we come into the presentation mode again and move it up here and then we can resize it. That looks pretty cool. But I'm actually going to take this color and, and dim it down a little bit. I like that color actually. Let's just go from white to black. Sweet. Uh, color into the gain and come into the text color. And if you remember, it was one. That was. Okay. So zero, one, zero, one. And that's that green color we had down here. That looks sweet come out of there then come into the frequency again and inspector inactive color I want to make the green sweet and text color I'm gonna make that same green sweet if I lock it down everything's looking good Come out of here and um, unlock it. Come in here, and I want the background to be black instead of that gray color. I think it, it's a little bit nicer on the eyes to see the actual lines happening. That looks good. Come out of here, and just the final kind of touches here. Uh, needle color. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And the final kind of touch that I want to put onto it is the inactive color. I want to make it a green, but like a darker green. Cool. Come out of here. Presentation. So that's fun. I mean, I... I the, the device that I did uh, looks a little bit better than this one. I think I brought the roundness up a little bit. Oh, now we're 
cooking with something here. I, I really like the really dark there. Oh yeah, that looks nice, huh? So that's looking a little better. Um, you can't really see the gain now, so maybe if we come in and border color and change that to that green too. Does that do anything cool? Slider background color, maybe that. That looks pretty sweet. So now if we save it and we come into Ableton, hopefully it will give us the, the sound, the effect we want. Sweet, so it works. And we learned way more about designing uh, the, the, the look of the device and the actual ring modulator. So that was fun. I guess we wasted about 15 minutes. But anyway, I uh, hope that helped. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.